Prince William Augustus, Duke of Cumberland, born the third son of King George II, left a significant mark on history. At the Battle of Dettingen in 1743, during the War of Austrian Succession, a musket ball shot into his leg, wounding him in his first act of service. After the battle, he received a promotion to Lieutenant General. Two years later, despite his inexperience, he became the Commander-in-Chief of the Allied troops before the Battle of Fontenoy. Cumberland's plan to defeat the French and capture Paris became an embarrassing failure. Against advice from Allied commanders, he decided to skirt the forests surrounding the town of Tournai to confront the French army. His plan was foiled as the French had marksmen in the forest who picked off Cumberland's troops. Failing to clear the woods forced Cumberland to retreat and lose the battle. Back in England, he redeemed himself by putting down the 1745 Jacobite Rebellion in the Scottish Highlands. Cumberland's forces destroyed the Jacobites on the fields of Culloden. After the battle, he ordered his men to show no mercy and bayonet all the wounded Jacobites, earning him the sobriquet, the Butcher. Although victorious, Cumberland embarked on a vengeful pacification of the Highlands residence in which his troops burned villages, raped, and murdered. Over a hundred Jacobites met their demise hanging from the forest trees. Cumberland initially planned to capture the entire population of the Highlands and ship them to the American colonies. Realizing the impracticality of his plan, he instead, drove out over 20,000 head of their cattle, effectively destroying the Highlands' economy. After Culloden, Cumberland had an unsuccessful military career. His military plans in North America during the Seven Years' War did not yield success and he received orders to disband his army. Disgraced, he returned to England where he spent his time breeding racehorses and enjoying his wealthy lifestyle at his opulent Cumberland Lodge. To many, Cumberland was a hero, and various landmarks in America were named in his honor, including Prince William County, Virginia and the Cumberland Mountains. To others, he was a bloodthirsty butcher. Cumberland never married and never fully recovered from the leg wound he received at Dettingen. In ill health, he became obese and, in 1765, at the age of 44, he suffered a stroke and died at his townhouse on Upper Grosvenor Street in London. The royal family buried him beneath the floor of the nave of Henry VII Lady Chapel in Westminster Abbey.